guys are just going to hear me just talking, just making sure everything's good. How are you guys? How are you? Oh, no, now it's synced. We're good. It's synced. Okay, so, back. okay, okay, we're back. We're back. That was pretty quick. Um, So the next topic is one that you're very excited about. Um, also, I'm not going to do a lot of editing on this. Really? So you're going to hear the you're going to hear the clap, and you're going to hear all of this. I'm sorry, audio listener. I should have told you this in the beginning. Um, but we are not going to do much editing in this. So you get what you get. I no will way. edit out the beginning. But you, other than that, you guys are all on your own. <laughs> I mean, it's not. I mean, so, like all so, four of you. All four of you. All six of you. The, the, all six. No, no. I think it's like four. Okay, all four of you listeners. All four of you. Um. Okay. So the thing, the other topic is one that you're very excited about, and yes. this one's about AI. This is so wild. So it transitions from if you're coming back from episode topic two. So now we're in three AI. In that video, we we're talking about the layoffs and stuff and applying for jobs and whatnot. Yeah. A friend of ours or acquaintance of ours, he used Chat GPT to make his cover letter to apply for a job. What? Yeah. Did it I work? I guess it, Alex, yeah. He got a he got a call back for the job. He got used Chat GPT to make his what? cover letter and they could call him back. Wild. I was like, eh. what? <laughs> Yeah, what? It, it worked. He, he he just put in the prompt and then like said like write a cover letter for this position. I have this experience, whatever. Yeah. And then bada bing, bada boom, and then done. He he said it didn't take that long because he this had to make the prompt. What? And then it made the thing, and then he applied for it the same day. He just made it up like in the morning. So they, he Ooh. he took like a few seconds, few minutes to make it. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the four things I've said all in a row. That's yeah. crazy. Cuz like you we hear about it like other people using it. However, this is people we know are using it right now. I'm like, "Ah. I could see why cuz it, it's definitely easier, but like, dang. I mean, and it worked. They, they didn't they couldn't tell that it wasn't from a person so, uh, cuz they called them back like they if they knew it would have been a cover letter? Yeah. That's cool. For a job, yeah. You can just put like the the name of the like uh the company and then like the like all your things and like why like yeah, the bright a great cover letter, blah blah blah, more professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say that I'm not a good um I'm not a good writer. I am not good at you know, really going into my I'm not really good at like writing in general and like writing out everything that's as important. Um, hmm. I think something like ChatGPT, I feel like doesn't feel authentic to me because it's to your truth. Yeah, because it's somewhat. <laughs> it's it's like it's like okay. Let's say you hire me, right? Like let's say yes. my resume or my cover letter is spectacular. My re- I do have the experience. My my weakness is maybe writing. And then you you hired me because it's like you have the experience, but I wanted someone that was able to write really well. Then, goodly, goodly, yeah, goodly, <laughs> goodly. Then, then they they hire you. You're like you had a spectacular. You stood out above the rest. But um, then you wouldn't stand out above the rest if they knew you couldn't write. You're you illiterate. You know? No, no <laughs> but they they don't ask you that in your interviews. They, That's true. Chat they, GPT wrote your resume. Yeah, <laughs> chat. Yeah, Chat GPT. I, I'm just saying that it to me it doesn't feel authentic. To me, I, I'm one of those people that I feel like I have written my cover letters myself. Really, I have. You, you I have, I did not get those jobs. <laughs> I wrote my cover letters too. <laughs> so but, you're saying it's much better if a, a robot I, wrote it for you? Yes, it's much better for a robot to get. I did get my job by myself though. So That's true. Ooh, ooh. Um, I did get my job by myself. Uh, you know, I, I did have a little bit of help, but it not, not human help, human, not chat GPT <laughs> not help. human help. Um, but yeah, I don't think that feels as authentic to me. Cause I feel like mm. it is very, uh, that's at least my two takes. Some other people might be like, Hey, it's a tool. It assists you. Yes. It's easier. You know, you don't have to do as much of the work. It takes a few minutes, but you know, um, it just doesn't feel authentic to me if I was to do that. So <laughs> this kind of goes into like another thing where like authenticity of work where the argument is like, oh, but like here's an example that I think of is that here is a 
earth mined diamond. This diamond is made from the earth. And it's, like it's crushed over millions of years to make a diamond. And then, or you could get a lab grown diamond. It's literally the same thing. In fact, it might be even better and it's cheaper, easier to make. <laughs> Which one do you, do you choose? Like, do you, the authentic one or the, or they're both authentic, both literally like diamonds. So it's like, mm. how would no, to the, to the average person who looks at it, like, like choose between these two pieces of paper. And it's like, they're, they're exactly the yeah, same Yeah, but thing. I mean, I mean like to me. To you? To me, it's not. I don't see. I, I I don't see an equivalence to that though. What do you mean? Because like the thing is like, either you slave blind... away like three hours writing this report, or you have chat, or they have like, chat what GPT, I mean, write it in two minutes or, or minute. not even. It like, is you know? <laughs> so quick. I don't know. It, you can literally see it like generate in real time. It's wild. You know what? It's a cra- It's crazy. But I feel like I would want to try to write it myself. And then I would ask ChatGPT to, to make correct, it smarter. To make it smarter, I feel they like they can do that. I feel like I would do that instead mm. of instead of writing the whole thing. But then your your neighbor, like the other guy that's working there, he is like over here sipping my ties on a beach, and he did five minutes of work when you did three hours of work, and then had the the same thing go over it. Yeah, but I mean, like in general, I I would feel more. Maybe that's just my how I, I know. feel. I, that's just my take on it. I was goodbye. Good. I am. I'm <laughs> old. <laughs> it shows me how old I am. You know, kids are writing these reports. They're through not chat. writing it. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're kids, not writing kid, it. No, no, no. Kids are writing the prompts in ChatGPT. They just put the prompt in, but then there'll be there's like a weird thing where like the there's like a counter AI that looks and then can tell that an AI wrote the first thing. Really? Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. So there's like ones that can detect whether it's like. You remember like the the different ones that check for um, plagiarism? It's yeah. kind of like that where oh, they run okay. it through, and it's like, oh, this is most likely oh, AI that generated. Makes sense. That makes sense. But I I was gonna say I feel like the cover letter is like I mean that's not so important. The cover letter, I think it's the more true. the experience, the more um, uh, because like in roles, people on often just look at the experience. And what you've written on your resume. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, and you can't fabricate the resume. So that's why I'm like, I give it a little bit of leeway, a little bit, but as opposed to the numbers, it can't. The numbers, it can't. You can't can't make up years that you've done. Yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah, but then eventually they'd figure you out, I guess. Chat GPT, make me a fake company. (laughs) (laughs) Make me a fake company and make me work there for four years. (laughs) You. You joke, but that, I do joke, but that's I know that I, can happen. No, oh. so that's happening right now. A lot of companies. So no. okay, no. Moving on to the next no. AI topic. This is the still this this is the still same AI topic, but go. Yeah. So on the internal or actual, well, I don't know if it's internal. People in the Silicon Valley they refer to. You should try this one. Okay. Just to like. Just to cleanse kind of, my palate. Well, cleanse <laughs> off from the other one. A and B, but um, so there's people that are like dreamers in the Silicon Valley, like, like they're like, yeah, like oh, they have ideas, like they're, they're idea guys, like oh, you know, brother, we have literally have a a shot glass. Okay, hey, <laughs> you keep on going with your story. Okay, anyways, <laughs> so they have ideas, but they they can't physically do the coding, the creation of the websites, et cetera, et cetera. So these idea guys now have AI that can do all that stuff for them, which is mind blowing. It's insane. Cause like you can write or have them have the AI write code to um, like whatever code you want. Like write a, write a code that like creates a website that has whatever mm-hmm. it'll do it. It'll just make you the code, which is wild. So, I mean, it's like the whole democratization of like ability, but now anybody can do it. People are making whole businesses out of like AI generated stuff. The wild one. So like the, your, your topic was the credit Suisse thing. Yeah. My topic, dang AI. I'm like, I could talk for really? Damn. It's it's cause it's like, um, it's a paramount shift in like, 
or a paradigm shift between like ways of doing things. Yes, it is. That's why everyone wants to get into it. It's Google, uh, Microsoft, like, everyone wants to get into it. It, I, the, every, I can see the shift. I can see, you can that, feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. People are using it. People are like daily. Okay, go, go. Oh no, 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 no! I was gonna say, the wild thing was that you had insight that since you're, um, I don't know if that. I, I'm in sub. I'm in supply chain. Okay, there you go. I'm so you're chain. you demand do demand planning. I remember you told me that. Amazon was developing um, AI to go and then compete, but it can't beat the person yet. Yes, they can't. That's true. But, I mean, it's getting very close. Very close. You know, it's wild. You know, yeah, it is getting very close. You know what the, the thing is, too? I think the one thing it can't... Oh, yeah, here you go. The one thing it can predict is human nature. Human nature. How is it going to predict certain events that you could foresee? How is it going to prevent? Like, I think it I, just I, learns at that I, point. I think that yeah, but what if it's, if it's unexpected? I think it could, it can, but there's certain elements that I feel that are kind of unpredictable, mm. and I feel like there's certain things that you know, if like let's say this, mm. let's say you have a widget. This is the example that everyone gives, right? If you have a widget and you have 50,000, like on average, you have 50,000 in demand a week, right? And because of that, let's say that your widget that you have stops selling well, maybe it goes to zero. What are you going to do with the excess widget? You have an overflow of widgets now that you can't do anything with. So what are you going to do? Now you need to sell these widgets, but no one's buying it. No one has it. That That's where the problems come up about, where the accuracy of your selling is really hard to be determined because you, you as a person could say, I'm seeing that trends are going to shift. Let's say, let's say your road beauty and you're fighting with Selena Gomez and people stop buying your beauty product and you are now you have a now a bunch of liability and mm -hmm. that's where the problems come from uh, that's a little bit of selena selena Haley bieber drama mm -hmm. but um i think that's what her beauty brands called I, I, I don't remember to be honest but yeah so that's that's the thing um where it lands you into trouble would be like on the purchasing side. If you think things are going to continue and if you think things are going to continue in the future, that's not, that's not true. Hot hand fallacy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I see. That's where, that's where my only concern is from. And I, I don't know if you, what your thoughts on it are, but that's what I think could happen and what, where things may go wrong because you could, like as a business you would want to keep your eyes on it at all times and not let a computer handle it because there is a lot of errors that could come about because of that and i don't want to get into some of the errors that i've seen or I mean, that i've heard of but um but yeah there, there is some flaws to 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 ai and mm -hmm. some of these other things so that's very true mm -hmm. so Another AI <laughs> topic. Okay, go. Is that the intern? So the, there's ChatGPT three, yeah. which is on their website. ChatGPT four, which is uh, attached to Bing currently, so mm -hmm. you can use it on Bing. And then the internal, like what? AI <laughs> stuff they have, like so, like they don't release the 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 biggest baddest AI, you know, yeah. to us regular humans. The Normies. the internal <laughs> one is wild it is insane how crazy it is really yes so why are we gonna have jobs why are we gonna have jobs exactly in the future? that's why i'm like what are we gonna do your job's gonna get outsourced no, no not yet <laughs> not yet not yet i will tell you not 90 percent of your job 90 percent of my job will be outsourced 10 percent. i don't know i'll keep it somehow <laughs> 
That's why. Okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be replaced with um, these VTubers, but then like. Oh god. They're but gonna... like they're AIs. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, or deep fakes. Deep fakes. Okay. Okay. Go on. But um. Yeah, so yeah, the internal one was able to make a company and then run it all by itself, and then it needed to do a thing where it needed to get past a uh, captcha. The one where it's like, oh, make sure you're not a, uh, an Roland. AI. Yeah. So it was able to reach out to like a human like on one of the like uh, websites that like, oh, you can like hire people to just do random things. Yeah. So reach out to a person, a human being, and ask them to solve the captcha for it. Yeah. And then it's like the guy's like, ha ha, what are you, a robot or something? He's like, and then the the AI has like internal monologue text. So like on the back end, so he wasn't sending this to the other person. So it wasn't communicating back and forth like that. Mm -hmm. So on the back end is like, I'm like, I can't tell him that I'm a robot. I have to like, or like an AI. So (laughs) it lied. It lied and said that I'm vision impaired and I can't see it. So I need help. The person does it and gives them the caption. And then it's like, what? (laughs) What The The AI knows how to lie for its own benefit. (laughs) This is terrible. I don't know. That AI how can, is that? Because it knew that the the best outcome was that it needed to get the capture done. We're all gonna get laid off. <laughs> We're it, all gonna get fired. Yeah, because like it, it can just do a lot of things, write emails, you know, all the other stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna hire someone. You gonna hire, hire someone through I'm gonna, AI? I'm gonna hire someone through a whole, AI. Whole business, like, hey, go make me some money. It's like, you got it, boss. And then this goes, <laughs> it comes back. It's like, here's all the money. I'm like, oh, thanks. How did you get this money? <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> the FBI. They, they, they has internal monologue. I shouldn't tell him that I robbed something, but <laughs> I shouldn't tell him that we're now like invested in cocaine. We Sorry. have, we have, we have business in the cayman islands so i don't know <laughs> yeah we're actually doing the <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're doing the sam banger and free we started <laughs> fdx too <laughs> yeah. i can't tell him that <laughs> i can't tell him we started squib coin <laughs> oh my god but um, yeah it, it's wild so the last thing that for the ai topic is that um microsoft is is uh releasing or is, has like uh demonstrated their co-pilot you talked about this, yeah. It did me before this. Before the podcast, you talked to me about this. Yeah, so it's what insane. Is it? it is literally insane. It's like chat GPT. You can like, oh, write about this. But it's attached to the Microsoft Office suite. Yeah. So, so the, it, Word and Excel. Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, right? Or yeah, and then yeah. I think other things too. Okay. So it can like ingest the data or like it can look at the data from Excel. And then you can ask, just ask the AI and it's like, oh, hey, um, what are the three top trends for this like data group? That's and then it will crazy. tell you, it'll tell you what it is. And then it could show you graphs of it. And like, here's the graphs. And then you could say like, Oh, could you tell me the justification of why you said these are the top trends? And then it'll justify why these are the trends. And then you could say like, how if this was different? How if we added use renewables instead of whatever we had before? And then if it has the data, it can then go and make a new graph or new like set of data that has that like what if scenario. Yeah. That's crazy. I think it goes the, even further. Oh god, go on. And then you can ask it to make a report on it. It'll make an entire report about the findings from your question. I know people's jobs it is to write reports. Yes, it does that. It is scary to know how far we are in the future. You know, Mm -hmm. the internet at least is, what, like maybe a few decades old? It's like, what, 40 years, 50 years to Um, the public? There's yeah, It's not that long. I mean, in general, our lifetime, at least we've had the internet. Um, it's crazy to know how far we are and the changes that are going to come. It is insane. You can then ask it to make a PowerPoint presentation about it. And you know what? I watched a video about Excel and PowerPoint when it was first coming out and how revolutionary it was on how people could aggregate data, show data, show their work. And now we're here. 
where we're like, you don't even need the person. <laughs> you do You're... not need the person that was behind that video. <laughs> they should redo that video and take that guy out and put chat GPT. It is insane. It is legitimately insane because like some of the other features that Microsoft Copilot can do because it's part of Teams. So that's why I partially want to invest more in, into Microsoft because like, man, they, not financial so advice, not financial advice, not but, financial advice. But like, if you think about it, think about how many people are using the off Microsoft Office suite, and if it's included every in there, every business is use yeah. Office. Every business and uses. then like. Even though they might use like Slack or something, they also have Teams. Teams is free. I it's think I'm pretty the, sure it's, it's free. included. <laughs> yeah. They're encouraging you to use their stuff. So I'm like, they're into this AI thing. They have the market share of like business office tools and like the things they can do with Copilot are wild. Like, oh, hey, summarize this email chain, giving me the like pertinent information and then reply back accordingly. That's crazy. Does that. You arrive to a meeting late. It will summarize the notes from what they were saying the whole time and then tell you, either tell you relevant data or tell you like the whole thing. Like this give you the whole thing. Like based on your position, mm. it will be like, oh, you need to know this stuff. But you know what? You know what it can do? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell the listeners what it can do. I have a guess, but yeah. Okay, go on. Guess. Is it love? That is true. It can't love me. <laughs> no, it can't build relationships. <laughs> Damn, how, <I> was <laughs> <laughs> how is it going to build relationships? Tell me that, huh? I mean, like, it's the same AI. That you're, the person you're talking the, the to person, is using AI. The, the person going to tell me they love me. <laughs> no, the, the, <laughs> the AI is going to tell me it loves me. The, the person on the other end is probably also using AI to write the email. I can see that, yeah. So, like, it's just AI is talking to each other. Like, you're prompting the AI to say something, but, in fact, it's just itself talking to itself. It's the same thing. That's crazy. Yeah. See, there's so much. I don't want to get into I don't want to. We could get probably into find it. out more and then like you talk look. about this again next week. Next yeah, time yeah, on we, Dragon Ball Z. Yes, yeah, so we could talk about this next. I don't even want to get into the other the other controversial parts of AI. Oh yeah, I don't want to get into that. That just spreads more things. But like no. what? No, I don't want to say it. Um but yeah. Uh I think is, is there anything else? About AI? Yeah, I think that's AI. about it. Like for I've now. been talking for quite a while about AI. <laughs> okay, for now. Okay, so that's good. That's good for now. AI, crazy, lots of things. Wild. That that's a crazy. Bonkers. That's a crazy story. That it's like the cover letter is a crazy story. It's oh, the fact general, that uh, yeah, because he's using it. Like, yeah, and I it mean, worked. I mean, like it. Like I've seen, you could have, you could do AI. I've seen people use AI to create an Eminem rap and they use voice. They use oh, like an yeah, AI yeah. voice of Eminem. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound the same, but it's not all there, but it, I think a lot of it's there. Yeah. It, it's like make a verse like Eminem and they do it. And like eventually even music's not going to be able to do it. Music's going to be AI. I Clips don't know. of Joe mm -hmm. Rogan already, already deep or fake. deep fakes of Joe Rogan are already coming out. Deep fakes of, yeah, just all these. Uh, yeah, so it's it's a lot on AI. I don't want to get too much into it mm -hmm. because we still have another topic. Okay, but yeah, AI is just um, it's here. It's going to just keep on getting better. This is the worst form of AI that's available today, and tomorrow it's just going to get better. Oh, that's what you mean. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yes, tomorrow it's going to get better. That's true, and it's going to get better every day. Um, but yeah. Um, right. that, that, those are my thoughts on AI and Jason's thoughts on AI. Um, I think it's just a crazy topic. I think there's a lot that goes into it. Um, I did want to end on a little bit of a lighthearted topic and...